See, everybody want to look good. <clears throat> everybody want to be fresh. You know what I'm saying? But niggas is faking the front. And you know, in due time, you're going to see what's what and, what's, and who's what. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So that was that one. Let's go to Titus 1 and 16. Precept. runs out on me okay don't worry I'm getting another camera soon because it's something wrong with this battery but you know what I'm saying just hold on you know what I'm saying and I can give you the full gospel the full course meal instead of this shit cutting off back and forth so this is Titus 116 the precept it says they profess that they know the most high but in works they deny him see that they talk a good talk you know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, they in a corner smoking a woolly. Meanwhile, they in the corner sniffing coke. Okay? Meanwhile, they in the corner going to another church because this church is giving them certain benefits. They want the dainties of the world. Okay? So they profess it with their lips, but behind closed doors, them niggas is in all types of organizations, all types of denominations. Okay? And the shit is wicked. Okay? And it's wicked. But you can't tell them that because they say, them niggas hating on me. They hating on me. Oh, what are you doing in the community? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing for the community? N nigga, what I'm doing for the community is giving them the food, the gospel of good news. That's all I need to do. I don't have to do nothing else, okay? Now, if I see a brother in need and I got at that, you know what I'm saying? And I can give him, get, get, help him out with that, that's good enough. But the real charity, as I said before, starts at home and it starts with the gospel of peace, the giving it to your people so they can wake up to find out who their enemy is. Okay, niggas walking around here want to be part of everything else, but if you ask them who their enemy, they scared to say this to damn Europeans, white man. They won't say that. And they won't say it's the nations. And the Arabs is part of that shit too. They did much, um, just as much wicked shit as the so-called Europeans. All right? But a lot of you are saying, Alama Salaikum, Alaikum Salam. Okay? And being part of them. And that's the Arabs religion. That's the Arab God of Allah. And if you really look it up and do research, okay, instead of sound, going with something that sounds good, do the research. That was a stem off of what? Off, off of, um, I believe, Roman Catholic... Um, Roman, um, um, what is it? Roman, um, that was a, a, a branch off of, um, Christianity. Okay, they part of the same thing, but niggas that don't read and don't really do study, they'll be like, no, they're a whole different thing. They fought for that. You know, they the same thing, the thing. They're just a branch off of it. Okay, so know what you're talking about before you're saying Allah and, for, or, or, and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that to, 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 to bash anybody, but I'm saying that you unlearned because you ain't do the research. Read it again. Titus 1.16. They profess... They profess they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him. Being abominable, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work a reprobate, nothing. Okay? And we talking about people in your home first, the so-called ones that's supposed to be learned in this great thing of ours, in this gospel of truth. Okay? That's what we're talking about. Everybody want to be a star? When he's on the top, but no one ever comes around when he starts to drop. And you will drop in this when you learn this because you ain't going to have no friends and you're going to have people that's hating on you. This is the real gospel of truth. This is the real religion. And religion means pure worship. Okay? All those other shits, garbage, see death doctrine is what? Is a filthy, abominable acts that you're committing. You adding on to the word and sketching out and putting something in there that sounds good and you niggas gonna pay for that. You know, he might hit your family with plagues and death because of that. And I ain't wishing it on you. I'm just saying the most high is gonna do that and he tells you he's gonna do that when you add on to take away from his word. And a lot of you niggas is doing that. Okay? And I'm talking about Israel that's supposed to be leading the flock. 
Feed my flock. That's what the more. That's what Yahweh told Peter. Feed my flock. And you niggas ain't feeding your flock. You feeding your own fat ass belly for your own gain. Okay. And to whom it may concern. Let's go back. Um, and then let's go. This one more preset on Jeremiah four and two. It says, here it is. We're going to start at 1. Jeremiah 4 and 1. If thou will return, O Israel, of the Lord, return unto me. And if thou will put away thy abominations out of the sight, then shall thou not remove. And thou shalt swear the Lord live in truth <clears throat> and in judgment <clears throat> and in righteousness. <clears throat> and the nations shall bless themselves in him. And in him shall they glory. So there it is. You gotta come back to the Lord. And that's what happened with Israel back in the time <clears throat> to the nation, back in the time of Jeremiah. That's why he was weeping. That's why we weeping, man. We telling y'all to come out of these plagues. Come out of her. She put her filthy acts. Come out of her state of mind. And I'm talking about Babylon, ancient Egypt, her doctrine. Her wine, her intoxication, her philosophies, okay? All her um, filthy acts. Don't be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? And don't be a part of that. Come out. And all the brothers on the highway and by, byway and saying, come out of her, okay? Get this hint like a mystery court. Get, 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 get yourself far away from that. Okay, we have Jeremiah 5, verse 3 now. <clears throat> O Lord, are not thy eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore I said, surely, these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their power. Yup, and our people don't know nothing about the Most High. Okay, they gotta they gotta profess for him with their mouth, but with works is dead. Okay, and then also these are talking about the men that were supposed to be that's learnt, learnt in these scriptures, the learnt men. Okay, these niggas are still wicked too. And why do you think the younger brothers go off too? Cause they got it from their fucking teachers. Okay, they got it from their teachers. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? If the root is fucked up, the branch is gonna be fucked up. Thus says the Lord, not in the, with, without the curses, though. <laughs> okay, read that again. Jeremiah 5 and 4. Therefore I said, surely these are poor, they are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of the, of the Most High. Okay, Hosea 4 and 6. You know that one, my people are lost for lack of knowledge, but I'm going to still give it to you. Here it is, <clears throat> Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. What is the knowledge they're talking about? Is he talking about knowledge of this world? Is he talking about knowledge of a, um, of a, um, of a dominant college? Okay, is it talking about that kind of um, knowledge? It's talking about the knowledge of the good news, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. Okay, yo, every if you if you do the knowledge, every book like let's say the Forty Eight Laws of Power, let's say the Thirty Three Strategies of War. Okay, in any other strategic conquering book. Okay, what is the what is the um the, the art of war? You know these different type of books. It all goes back to the number one foundation, which is the Bible, okay? The Bible tells you when a man do too much talking, you better watch him. When a man, the Bible tells you when a man does, um, when a man, um, it even tells you about friends. It tells you that a certain friends is only there for certain occasions, and that's an apocrypha. The Bible is a warrior's book. The Bible is beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? The Bible even tell you how to pick a woman. 
So you have, and then niggas will tell you, you living out of a book. You ever heard that when you out here preaching and they'll say, hey, um, put the book down and talk to me. No, this is my foundation. And if they say, I can't talk to you because you, if you can't put the book, that, book down, tell them to keep, skip the loop, walk down the street. You know what I'm saying? Because this is your foundation. And that's why they say my people are lost for a lack of knowledge. But all these, book, all these different books, they don't have nothing on nothing. They don't have nothing on nothing, man. Now we back in Jeremiah chapter 5. That's the book. Remember, I'm breaking that down. We in verse 5. Um, verse 5 now. Chapter 5, verse 5. I will get me unto the great men, and I will speak unto them. For they have known the way of the Lord, and the judgment of their power. But these have altogether broken the yoke, and burst the bonds. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf out of the evening shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over them, their cities. Now think about that. A leopard shall watch over their cities. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Now a leopard, what? Does a leopard change his spots? A leopard is Esau, okay? A leopard does those patrol cars, all those Roman, those Roman, um, those Roman, um, Centurions, I think it's Roman guards, whatever. So the leopard, he stays on, he's, he's always on a watch, and he's very active. <laughs> That's what I got out of that. <clears throat> now, a leopard, he's constantly active, and he's constantly active, but watching our people, constantly seeing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But you notice, like, like right now, for example, from what I've seen, you see, um, like, a, I look like, in the next town over, there's a town called Deer Park, like a white town. Right, late at night, these niggas got lights on, these kids can skate, they can have a good time, right? And they mostly, white kids and white people, all right? You go to, now our park closed down, if you go to the next town over, it's called Windy. That park closed down, you can't be in the park after a certain time. So they got privileges, okay? And then think about this. You know a lot of time our, our people are up to wicked today. We know that. Very few cases that they are not. But let's say we have a bunch of righteous guys right now that fit to this book and we all come together like 30 of us right here and we just be chopping it up the leopard come creeping by a couple of times passing by passing by you know what i'm saying watching us so the, the leopard is active active in putting chains and yoke and burning on burdens on our people okay and remember the leopard was also alexander the greek and a lot of them was switched over back to the roman to the roman to the romans which is the same people some the same Greeks was went back to the was the Greeks when the Romans took over. All it was was the same people, same Edomites, okay. And then you have some of the people that was that was our people that was just following the philosophies of the Greeks or the Romans, like today. That's all that is. <clears throat> Jeremiah, chapter five. Um. Verse 6 again. I'm going to start from the top. Wherefore, a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Everyone that goes out thence shall be a torn into pieces, because their transgressions are many, and their backslidings are increased. Hosea 13 and 7. Let's go to Hosea 13 and 7. Hosea 13 and 7, he is a merchant, the balances of the sea are in his hands, and he loved to oppress. See that? And who's oppressing us constantly? Who's constantly active in oppressing us day and night? And the Lord sent him on us. He is the execution of judgment. Really, it's Yahweh is the execution of the judgment, but he used him to wipe, whip you niggas ass in shape, the ones that's rebellious. Yeah. Romans 13. I believe that's 13. He is the executor of judgment. He does not need, um he does not um use his sword in vain. Alright? Actually, you know what? Let's get that. 
You know, since we're talking about it, let's get it. Let's start at 3, Romans 13 and 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Okay? For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he bear not the sword in vain. That's Esau. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that do evil. Right, and remember, every government that is set up is set up under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh whether you like it or not. The Lord allowed every kingdom to be set up and for the rulers and the powers to be. That's the way it is. That's the way he set it up, okay? And then when you find yourself going against, yes, a lot of y'all ain't gonna like this, but when you go find yourself going against the cops, the authorities, and saying, fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Remember all that shit? Ice Cube, that shit get your ass killed. That will get you killed. Okay, because they were set up to be set up. Now, there's a time and a place that we do go against this kingdom. Okay, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I'm bringing this kingdom down right now. With the word, not me. The word is gonna bring this kingdom down. So it's not men coming on their own, doing this thing on their own, okay? It's the spirit of Yahweh Bahashib Yahweh Shah. That's why I say it's not a physical war, okay? Not yet anyway, it's a spiritual war. So we bringing down the kingdom every time we come down here. That's how I'm helping my people, nigga. <laughs> That's how I'm helping, okay? So, it says, wherefore you must need to be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. Okay, so that's it on that. I just wanted to bring that point out. Now, where was we at? We was uh, Hosea 13 and 7. Did I finish that? Let me see. Hosea 13 and 7. Therefore, I will be unto them as a lion, as a leopard by the way, will I observe them. Okay, there it is. Now let's go to um, Jeremiah 13, 23. Jeremiah 13, 23. These are precepts. Jeremiah 13, 23. Oh, here it is. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may you also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Okay, so that's just the, uh, it on that. Meaning like Esau continue to do what he's doing and the leopard never changes his spot. But remember when I gave you Romans 13 that he executes judgment. He's the minister to execute judgment, which means a servant. Yeah, the white man thinks he's doing his own thing, but he's a servant, okay? The devil's a servant. Y'all give too much power to the devil, okay? All this is to see how tough you niggas really is spiritually first. Get your mind right spiritually, okay? You know what I'm saying? Because once your mind right, everything else is right. Just like a pimp, you know what I'm saying? When he when he trying to get a, a a a girl, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about just getting on here banging her because you got a big great penis. You know what I'm saying? The pimp say you use the mind, you get the mind, you control the body. So we, I use that as an illustration. I'm not saying to use that as a pimp because some of you niggas are stupid and simple. I'm using that as an example. You always get the mind, get the spiritual mind right first. You know what I'm saying? Then it's the physical. And then everything worked together as a whole. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Jeremiah. Okay, we in Jeremiah chapter five, verse seven. How shall I pardon thee for this? That's a question. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. That are no gods. Remember, I say the denominations. Okay, when you're in a denomination, you're not serving Yahweh by Hashem. You're not serving the true God. You're serving another God. And to be honest with you, a lot of you really are serving the God of Quaz. Okay, that's an Edomite God. Let's see if I can get. Let me see if that's in here. Bear with me. Bear with me. 